Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. My name is Alex and today I will be taking you through the first knot in the knot series. And we're going to be talking about the double figure of eight or the figure of eight on a bite. Let's go. The figure of eight on a bite is the main knot in the rope access industry, mostly used as the knot in the rope that we tie into our anchor point with. There are a couple of reasons why we use the figure of eight on a bite for that. One of them is it's easy to recognize, and the other one, it's fairly easy to undo after a load, and it doesn't undo itself when it's not loaded. Now, how to tie it? There are, like with everything rope access, there's multiple different ways of doing something. And maybe this explanation does not suit you, but somebody else. I will show you in two different ways. The one is my son's method. He's 10 years old and he said, well, dad, it's easy to tie a double up figure of eight. You double up the rope like so. You make a figure of eight like so. There is an eight to be seen. You go through the hole with the bite and tighten it. And there you have it, a figure of eight on a bite. Things to pay attention to is the length of the tail. It should be at least 10 centimeters or 10 times the thickness of the rope, which is a better measure. 10 times the thickness of the rope. Or a good fist, if maybe two, but at least a good fist, okay? If it's too short, it might work itself back into the rope. If it's too long, you might tie in on the wrong end of the rope. Like I said, there are multiple different ways of teaching how to tie a knot. So I will show you one more technique after the word from our sponsor, and the sponsor of this video is Industrio Klimme. Industrio Klimme is a training company situated in the Netherlands right above Amsterdam. They provide all kinds of different training. You can come here for your GWO training, you can come here for your Arata training, you can come here if you have a company with a with our in-house firefighting team and you need to know how to rescue persons from height using all kinds of different methods. They provide custom tailor-made training for your company or a basic training if you work in the telecom industry and you need to know how to climb the pylons with the full arrest devices and learn how to position yourself. There's a beautiful web shop where they sell everything related to safe working at height you can think of. They provide advice on the materials you might need. If you have any questions regarding all those things, please contact them. The link will be down below in the description. To continue with the second way to tie a figure of eight knot and my personal way of doing it, is I take about an arm's length of rope. I get my two fingers ready. I squeeze the tail end of the rope I want to have sticking out below my pinky. I squeeze the rope, I go around my two fingers, and then I go around one more time and I stick the bite through the, the hole where my fingers are sticking out of. So I make a little bit of room, I give the bite to my two fingers and push it through. I'll take my fingers out, and then before I pull the knot tight, I flip the top loop to the bottom. That way I have a properly tied figure of eight knot with a bite. Now what you already saw me do is I tie the knot and then I dress it and then I set it. Okay, so I hold on to the knot, I pull out all four ends and now if I move around the knot will stay in. I have a perfectly tied figure of eight loop. The tail end is long enough but not too long. The loop the bite, I should say, the bite itself, it's nice and short and not this long, right? We want nice and tight bites, like so. That's it for the figure of eight knot. If this was not clear to you, please leave a comment in the, in the comments section so I can even make another video because there are multiple ways of doing it. But these two, if a 10 year old can do it, you can do it. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing. That will really help push the channel out 
through the YouTube algorithm. All right, on to the next nut.